Okay, let me see if I can explain a few things. Whenever you decide to start a new game, of course I'm assuming you've already looked at the settings, you've already played the tutorial, you've played a few games and you're still having trouble, and the games are, should I say your base is failing? Alright, let me show you something. I'll do it on the first planet, Class D, because it's the simplest. Alright, you don't have to change this if you don't want to. But notice something, they always start you off at zero. And then this number gets pretty big. So if you want to, you can come up here and do something simple like that. Or you can just back space and go like this. Now, this normally means experimental. When you put an X before or after something. So I'm going to suggest that you use your mouse, left click here, and drag it over to the other side of the screen. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the number down. See what? See how it's working? Now, of course, if you go up or down or sideways or anything, it's going to change the first number, too. Now, sometimes you have to do this for a while in order to get it down. But, nine times out of ten, the spot they gave you wasn't that bad. So we'll match up the numbers. See, there's five, five. Now, it is possible that staying with zero in the first number will actually give you a better spot. And I think what they're trying to say is you're on the equator. You're not north and you're not south. You're right there on the equator. And this means you're going to be a little bit off the equator. But <laughs> I'm curious. What if I get it down to zero, zero, and I start the game? Am I going to get a good spot? Neither east or west? If not, we can just start again here. Oh, that big hill back there does not look good. But we do have to wait until this opening screen finishes. Now, the first planet gives you more people right off. Well, should I say people or should I say robots? You see the, the color of their patches? Well, that's your biologist. Here's your workers. There's your one um, engineer. There's the bot that helps him out. This one's a fetch bot. There's your medic. You'll get these colors down later. Okay, first thing I do is zoom out with the wheel. How far can we go? Holy Toledo, that opens up to a huge place, doesn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> zero, zero is a good spot. Okay, we've already wasted some time so we can't hesitate too much. Now, I'm gonna put this right in the center, but I'm gonna make it size two. Now notice the difference. One metal, one bioplastic, two, and that's as big as it goes. Now they'll start going. Now I could speed the game up, but it has always been a bad idea. Now pretend there's a line right through here. So utilities will go on one side and living quarters on the other. So I'll put this right up here. Oh, come on. Game's messing with me. Oh, make it a size bigger. I've got to make the link. These are all left clicks. And I gotta have water. Nothing works without water. And I'll go to the next size. Huh, it acts like it won't let me go to that side. Oops. Now, I'm not gonna take it off of speed one, because what we just did is critical. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is, of course, this right here, power collector. That's your big battery. And again, size two. But I'm gonna bring it up here. There we go. And see, and move it as close as I can. Now, it calls it medium. And just to make sure I didn't mess up. Yeah, see, that's the first size, that's the second size. Now, we gotta come up here and put in the airlock. Now, the airlock should be as close as you can get it over here. And that's because you want to have the path as short as possible. And even if this is long, or short, you're still going to pay one bioplastic and one metal, so it doesn't really matter. But the game, when you look here, it doesn't count that. So if you look here, one one, and here, one one, that tells you what the actual cost is. Now, the sun is going to come down on us, and we're not going to have any power generated. So, of course, we've got to, without much hesitation, but we want to go close to the airlock. Now, right now, that's the best we can do. 
And let's make sure we didn't screw up. We gotta have the second size. Yep. See how the base is bigger? All right, so we've got a second size. Now, let me show you something here. And then go right here under milestones. Click on that. If you want to know what you need for survive, you just have to make it through one day. If you want to get self-sufficiency, you got to have bioplastic processor, metal processor, meal maker, mine, and biodome. You don't need any more than that. Each of these kind of tell you what you need. And most of these are pretty simple right at first. All right, so let's uh, get back in here and get busy. Oops, I want to go to the first one. And the first thing we do is, of course, this. Now, again, go to the second size. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Let me promise you that. Then we'll go back. And we've got to have this. And again, second size. Keep it short for now. Because right now, you can see we're kind of in a pocket. But it, it extends real simply into a very huge area. Okay, now we have to have a mine. We can't get by without a mine. And you want to keep this as close as possible. And that way the uh, storms that come up won't be really much of an issue for you. All right, see how the sun set? Well, we did get this fully charged, but each time we add one of these things, like for example, this one takes 1.5 power, water, and provides for 30 people. Well. I figure around 28 is when I need to make another one. We can't look at, but well, look here, it takes the power. It's also a terminal. That means I can't connect any more domes to it. Now I can make all these other connections, but not a dome. This is your bare minimum for getting by. We still have 10 metal left. We've committed for there. We're good there, we're good there. And we've got just one of these plastics, bioplastics, to go. Now, with the canteen and the processing plant, we're really not going to be able to survive. Oops, one moment. We've got to go with this, the biodome. And again, you don't want to go small. So what you want to do is consider what do you have to have? Can you get by with size 2 or do you have to go to size 3? Well, I'm going to go to size 3. This is kind of an experiment, like I said. Now, look at your... See, we're not, not doing too bad there, but look at this. And we just obligate ourselves for another seven. And we still, well, that one's good to go. So we have to take this ship and recycle it. We don't have a choice. We have to, because we're about ready to run out of metal. And this will change that for us. So there we go. Now, I notice when, until they get the hallways done, you don't really have a connection. All right, so now we'll put these down so that we can get inside. But see, he doesn't have this hallway or tunnel done, and he doesn't have this tunnel done. They don't have that one done yet either. Now, notice everything is going kind of slow because I want to explain stuff. But see, no oxygen until they get the tunnel done. All right, now here, remember what it said? For a milestone, if we want self-sufficiency, We've got to have a bioplastic, some metal processor, mill maker, mine, and biodome. Okay, the biodome is right there. So we've got to install a mill maker. And once that's done, we've satisfied it. And here we have to install the metal and the plastic maker. All right, let's go back and look at that again. Now, survival just means we have to last a, a whole day. And... It still says we're day zero. And we've already landed, and it's now 6 a.m. in the morning. So this is still not considered finished yet, because this doesn't say day one. And self-sufficiency, bioplastics, metal, mill maker, mine, and biodome. So we've just completed everything that was listed once this gets up. The biodome? That's just how simple the milestones are at first. You don't have to do anything more. Now, as long as we don't run out here, we'll be fine once they get these two up because this is how they make metal and plastic. But we've got to have this done because we need to be making starch. This machine needs starch. See, survival's reached. 
right click the smith left click the focus on it it just gives you a picture basically let you look at your base and all the domes now see we can't do anything here until this tunnel is done and then this will light up and that's when we get to put in our stuff now the basic game is one tomato one onion and one rice but starch is going to be an issue for us so we need to go ahead and put in the wheat too these corn will be the next priority and then later on we'll just do one of anything we're missing but for now we have to be concerned with how many biologists we have each of them can do two of those plant boxes if you give them more than that to do they're going to be overwhelmed now here you go we've got the self-sufficiency done so it does you now have the structures in place to sustain your colony so think of this as your better tutorial this will get you off to a much better start even on the other planets okay i still got plenty here so i'm going to go ahead and put in what i normally need to keep everybody happy now there's not much chance i'm going to connect the tunnel there so that's where i'm going to put the bit screen that is a major uh colonist pleaser then we're going to put the water fountain in because it got to have that now as soon as you do that then you've got to start thinking of water supply can't grow anything without water supply well usually what i do is i go ahead and put in the water tank well i call them water towers and again i make it the next size up now we're starting to get a little critical here but one thing we did not do is we did not put the dormitory in somewhere for them to sleep so now i'm going to put it uh let's see i'm going to put it down here somewhere and i'll only provide one connection and i'll make it right there usually it won't let you make a second connection anyway so and two two plus one one so we've committed ourselves for three out of here and three out of here so we're doing fine see that everything is hunky gory now at this point you're gonna think well we're missing something and we are we've stuck at three this number should always be one or two higher than this number which is normally your next highest number then this one's probably going to be somewhere around half of this one and this one's going to be probably half of that one but sometimes it's equal now later on when we need guards this number will probably be pretty close to this number at first and then it's going to start moving towards this number but the best way to think of it is this number and this number will be pretty close to equal halfway through the game and then later on this number will go up and this one will be up to maybe a dozen but the best thing you can do is prevent any raiders from entering by closing off removing the power to all of your access points your airlocks if you can do that you're going to be in good shape now for some reason they're dragging their feet on this and that's not good because see there we've got people showing flags that they are sleepy 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 now he's satisfying his thirst he's satisfying his thirst this other guy never gets out of the way but once these turn red then you've got a serious problem now we could go ahead and give this priority but this this and this is the only two projects we got going we don't want people passing on the floors and stuff because they won't get the proper sleep now what are we going to be having problems with next well from the looks of things we've got this taken care of we're going to be using up at least three or four of these in order to get the bunks in this is all taken care of so we're we're good to go there our next problem is going to be right there and see that what it takes it takes four so we're kind of in a hurting situation until we can get this in and i like to move it towards the, the hills here and keep it kind of short for now since the walking distance this will give us the power we need is a, not that long later on having it long is going to be important to me for some reason the constructor bot is moving kind of slow now again we cannot do anything until they get the tunnel in 
Now, we don't have a full number of workers and stuff yet, so we can get by with just using up three of those bioplastics. You figure that you want a few more bunks than people. See, we've got uh, seven total. If you count all of these, we got a total of seven. So if you have bunks for half of those people, you should be good. Well, I've got bunks scheduled to go in for a total of six people. So there's only one that uh, won't have a bunk, but normally that's not an issue. All right, so right now we're showing we have no metal. This is not bouncing up and down. We do have some ore that has been taken out of the mine by the workers. Workers are the only ones that can do this. We don't have any starts yet. And for some reason, our biologists are not doing too good. Whoops. See those little flags there? One's very sleepy. And this one here is not getting any attention. So the other biologist is going to be sleepy. And he's about ready to pass out on the floor. <laughs> See how it turned to orange from yellow? Now we've got box. We just got one that hasn't been installed yet for some reason. We've got what we need. You can click on it and tell. See, it just needs one. All right, here comes the, the bot. And there we go. It got done. So now we have enough bed space for everybody. Except this guy right here passed out on the floor. See what I mean about don't take this off of speed one at first? Now this bot, the only thing it does is it carries stuff from one place to the next. And it knows automatically where to go. Now when you see this little symbol, it starts out kind of a pale yellow, then it goes kind of a yellowish orange color. Well, that means it's about ready to break. So this line right here will come down to about here. And then when it goes red, it'll come down to about here and it'll be red. This will turn, of course, red and then it'll stop. It is tracks. Now, this is not good because technically he's not being taken care of properly. He didn't get into a bunk, even though we had a space available. So somewhere around here, probably in the mine. Nope, not in the mine. We've got somebody missing here. We should have seven people, but I can only account for one, two, three, four, five, six right now. And there's nobody in the mine. And there's nobody here. Or in there, as far as I can tell. I don't see anybody passed out on the floor, so I don't know. <laughs> we got somebody missing. So I don't know. The game does strange things. They, they've hidden somebody on us. Now, we're kind of in a bad situation here. Somehow, we used up more metal than I had calculated. And we've only got zero. So we're waiting for this machine to get used. And it's kind of odd, but this time they seem to be waiting until we have another piece of ore. We've only got two right now. And let's see. Yeah, he's a worker, so he's going to go get some more ore. And then maybe we've only got, what, three of those guys? Yeah, we've only got three workers. And we've only got two of these. Uh, we really need a minimum of three or four right now. So how do we fix that? Well, we can't right now until this gets done and then this will light up and we can mess with it. Now, as long as this stays in this area, we'll be able to get more people in. If it gets down to around here somewhere, they won't send any more people. And we need two more, but we really don't have anything to panic over. Now notice this guy is still not rested. Well, see, he's still sleeping on the floor, and he's not happy. So if you're wondering, why, what are you going to do about that? Well, we can't really do much anything. This video screen is the primary way we make them happy in this stage of the game. Now, that's probably an engineer. Nope, that's the medic. Now, the next thing that they're going to do to us, but we do have to wait until this happens, is they're going to start damaging our workers are going to go in the mine they're going to get injured and they're going to come out they'll have a little flag over their over their uh, body and it'll indicate what looks like a broken bone and the only way to fix that is we have to put in a sick bay 
Now, in the meantime, we have all these goodies out here slowly but surely decaying. So after we get this in and the sick bay is in, we can try to keep these guys, these workers, on the job. Without the sick bay, they will all get broken and then you're going to be stuck because they're the only ones that make the metal in the bioplastic. And we still don't have any starch. And from the looks of things, our biologists, and we've only got the two of them, are not keeping up with the plants, even though we've only given them two each to take care of. And they're not happy about their work. <laughs> but why not? I don't know. That's just the game messing with me, I think. See, this bot's is breaking down. It's going to need repair soon. And so is that one. And the only one that can do that is your engineer. And you've only got the one. Now this plant right here is no longer producing. See that red flag? Now he's, he's the one of the biologists and he's attending the plant to change that. So what is it about them? Because they're supposed to be able to handle two of those. Now, I am tempted to speed this up because he's got the ore there. He needs one more before he will use this machine. And this is critical for getting in more personnel. So you kind of have to look at the situation to decide, is this more critical now or is the sick bay more critical? Because sick bay is next. That's the next thing we need. Now, notice we did not run this down to zero, even when the wind dies down. And like I've said before, this may not be politically correct to say, but we don't have good technology for batteries yet. So even if we have better solar panels than we do and better windmills or wind turbines in this game than we do, it won't matter. We don't have storage. Our battery technology is way behind the eight ball. So we cannot survive and provide everybody enough electric for their homes and whatnot and these days electric cars without fossil fuels now coal plants is how mankind has been making it through the industrial age especially after electricity became such a big deal but petroleum is just not something we can survive without right now we can't make enough electricity now of course nuclear power which the game does not provide an option for is the only other way we can make electricity but it's a dangerous way to do it. Very dangerous. All right, so he's up, he's thirsty. So I think what they're trying to get me to do is to put in another water fountain. But there's nobody at the water fountain right now. I will put in another one later, but I'll put it back here after I get three in this slot. So we've avoided a lot of problems with how the game plays on the early start by putting this in at the bigger size, bigger size, bigger size, bigger size, all size two. Now, the medic or whoever, if they need something, they have to go out here and find it and bring it in because we don't have storage. When we do have storage, even if these are all the way down to here, the storage will bring them all the way back up once they get inside that dome. Okay, so he's still thirsty. So he's satisfying his thirst. But we've got the vid screen, so it's giving them some positive influence. we got people going to bed off and on. We are starting to show some starch. I cannot put in more plants without overworking my biologist. Just remember, two per biologist is the best you can do without creating problems for you. Now, they're going to stick stuff all around here, and the bot's going to bring it over to this machine to keep the mills going. Right now, it's not making any spare meals per se, but we have plenty for the number of people we have. The one thing we don't have yet is what they call vitro meat. That's how you prevent malnutrition. If this is the only thing you ever produce, you're going to start having problems with malnutrition. And malnutrition, once we get the sick bay up, is going to burn up all of your medical supplies a little fast. Probably faster than you can manage. Okay, let's see, get the, the engineer needs to come up here and fix this carrier bot. Otherwise, they have to do all the carries. Because he's the only one we got right now. 
So have I explained how to get a good start? Now, if you want to transfer over to the sick bay because you start to get, you know, damaged people, see, it doesn't cost as much except the fact that now you need bioplastic. We don't need bioplastic for this. And we don't need bioplastic for that either. You'll notice that when they make these little flat runs, which is part of your utility system, and they make these power connections, they do not require bioplastic. But when you make these tunnels, they do. One metal, one bioplastic. But right now, they're focusing on making more bioplastic and not metal. If I see one of those workers griping that he's got a broken bone, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel this project. I'll click here, and then I'll click here on what they call recycle. Well, they've also got delete parentheses. And those, all this will become available to make the sick bay. And the sick bay, the biggest one you can make is two and two. So that's not going to be an issue, because we've already got plenty of metal. All right, so far so good. They're making some more metal. He's not showing it. Oops, I think kidding. He's not showing you having any broken bones. And we have an engineer, the only one. And he's got the bot going again. This one's going to need some attention before too much longer. So it's just a matter of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus. I'm going to speed it up to maximum speed. And that bot just zooms all over the place. Okay, now the engineer or the uh, other bot, which is the constructor bot. See, they like to let the constructor bot do all the work. <laughs> the engineer's kind of lazy, I guess. All right, so now that this is up, we can come over here and look at landing permissions. Right now, they're asking for mostly workers, but that's not what we want. We want biologists. So let's see if we click fast enough. What did we get? Oh, we came through. Ah, we got an engineer. Well, I don't quite understand why they do that. Okay, whoops, let's slow down. We've got a trade ship now. But do we have anything to trade? No, not really. The stuff he's selling is kind of nice, but we just don't need it right now. I do have a little bit of metal, so let's see. We could get one, two, no. See, he's got a real expensive commission. It goes higher, actually. It goes up to 65. So I think it would be wise for us to say dismiss. Now, at some point, we have to start ignoring that. We just can't get by until we start ignoring that. But this is a big deal. But we still got plenty of time left. So now our priority is the sick bay. So we need to pop down here, go to the next size up, and put it right there. Now, if you're wondering why, well, that's where the workers are going to show up. Well, they may show up here first with their broken bones. So we've got to fix them right away. Because we don't have very many to work with. And, oh dear, our bot looks like it's about ready to break again. Basically, the bots are junk. They just don't last. They get repaired, I think it's like two times, and then it's over. That's it. It's all over. They don't get repaired again. But what you might see them do is they'll turn into one of each of these. One bioplastic, one metal. So what you want to do, baby, is click on him and just watch what happens when he finally does break. And that is our only constructor bot. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do this. For some reason, they gave us an engineer, which raised us up to 25% of the population. That does not make sense to me. I want to keep this at zero for a while. 30%, we've already got 37%, and we've only got 25%. Okay, there we go, let's slow down again. Down all the way to one. And you better be giving us a biologist. There we go, much, much better. Now we do have a little bioplastic, and the next thing that we're gonna want some of is these medical plants and that's how they make medical supplies now this is also a good time to start thinking about putting in the corn plant and i'll put it right next to that one which is our tomato so see there he broke 
Now the question is, will he get repaired one more time by the engineer, or will he just turn into one of each of these? I'm going to go ahead and speed it up once, times two. I can do it one more time, it'll go uh, times four. Hey, engineer, come on, we got a broken bot. Is that you over here? Usually they get repaired twice before they disappear. All right, there we go. He's getting them repaired. But the next time he breaks, that's probably going to be all she wrote. And we're still waiting on one metal over here. And there he goes. He's making it now. We want to be careful not to get too carried away here. Because we're going to need at least two of those for here once it's ready to go. And like I was showing you, we only need one more metal. And that metal is being produced right now. Now we've already made the changes to the landing permissions. You see there? So now we're up to 40%. So this is where you want to take away five and say, no, we've got plenty of engineers, so let's leave that at... Actually, we'll go down a little bit. And we'll keep this at 10%. We'll keep this at zero. And that'll force it back up here. So now we'll start getting in more workers. But remember, you want to keep this one or two higher than this. All right, let's see. There's some more people for the colony. And this time we've got three. Biologist, miner, he went straight in. I missed one, didn't I? All right. Oh, we're, we're still not up to stuff here. Come on, constructor bot. There you go. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to put the bed in. We're going to have to wait on this. Because they're going to need that bioplastic for the bed. Now once he puts it there, then we can go ahead and put this in. That will only hold four of those medical supplies. Alright, let's see. What do you got there for me, buddy? Oh, man. I do need that, but I just don't have the resources because you want a commission of 50 or cent so that raised the price by another hundred yep i can't do anything about it in fact i don't really have anything i could sell you right now this would be risky well i'll tell you what we'll go ahead and sell you two so now let's try to well we can't do that so let's go with coins put that back can we get 50 even out of you holding down my left mouse button now I'm clicking nope he wants something else well I could try this and then see if I can get an even 55 out of him there we go and then we'll say trade now everybody including the bots should take care of him as a priority that's one of the things about this game that's kind of a little screwy see how everybody comes off the work they were doing set aside the sky so it'll take off and that's why carrier bots are kind of important all right they've got the bioplastic so they'll finish this so let's go ahead and get our next priority going which would be here the factory that's how we keep up with our needs with spare parts because if these things break down and they don't get repaired in a timely manner because we don't have any spare parts then we're in trouble Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go, and again, we'll go to size 2, which is as big as we go. Now, the best place to put that would actually be over here. Because the parts they need come out of this structure right here. But see, it won't fit. Now, if we had to put that over here instead, it would. Alright, they just gave us three more people. Blue, that's a minor. So, once we get through the airlock, we can see what we got. See the change in the numbers? All right, so let's keep here, and then the stats. So we've got six, we've got five, we've got three, we've got two. Now that's a pretty good combination, except I want this number to be six or seven. But we need to slow down the delivery of personnel. So I'll left click here, turn it off. See how it all went dark? So we're gonna be holding with what we've got for now. The primary reason is I don't want this to get out of hand. And we've got the next thing that we need, but we've got 10 spare parts. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to recycle. 
and change that to storage, which would be here. I need storage. Now, the second size, first size too small, second size, that will get us by for a while. And let's put it, uh, yeah, let's put it right off of here. Even though that's further away from the landing pad that I prefer. But I've got to keep these things separated. I can't connect here. That's a terminal space, so that looks to be about the best I could do. Now, that's a good spot for it. Or I should say the second good spot. Because now they'll pick the stuff up out the floor once they get this made. And they'll put it in here. And they'll also come out here and start grabbing these things before they decay too much more. Now, see, we've done pretty much the best we can do for now. Now, when they get this done, then we'll go ahead and we'll go back to getting this factory in. But we still got some spare parts, like you can see right up there. So there's no panic necessary just yet. Okay, we do have one available, but... Oh, geez, we need three and three here still. Because remember, they use one of each over here. Now, there's a chance that we'll notice that we've got... Out of the uh, total population of 16, we've only got space for six. And we really need space for at least half. So I'm going to have to apply for another one. Otherwise, we're going to have people pass down on the floor again. Now, I prefer to have more than half. See, right now we're a full house. All six spaces are taken. And we will probably notice somebody walking around with a Z over their head. No, not yet. All right, another trade ship. We don't have storage in yet, so chances are... We're still not going to have enough trade goods. Let's see, we're not hurting for medical supplies yet. So this is really not a crisis. We can't really do anything with those anyway until we get the laboratory in. Nah, it's a little wise, sir. See, what's his commission? Oh, Kai, commissioned again. So we'll use that as our excuse for dismissing. Now, if you totally ignore them and you don't click on that ship, they will go away after a while. They just won't stay there forever waiting on you. All right, so he's thirsty. Water fountain's right there. But I guess he's more hungry than thirsty. See how that's working? Now, our mill maker is not doing too bad. It's got two slots here that don't have a mill in them. They just have vegetables, maize, and rice. Our starch. Yeah, we still need more starch. We're just not meeting... Demand, and we have a total of five of these guys. So that means we can have ten spots for them to service. And right now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we really should get busy. Now we haven't put in the peas yet, so we'll do that. And we haven't done the potatoes yet, so we'll look for a spot right there. And we'll call that good for now. Let's see, because we don't have any bioplastic, so. That's going to prevent this from getting finished. See there? These usually get priority. And then this will start getting priority. See, they've already done the bunk bed. And that's the other reason why I don't want any more people trying to come here. Because we're going to be getting behind. There's somebody with a Z on the, above their head. And we've got the carrier bot about ready to break. Not good. Not good. Because that means someone else is going to have to keep this machine full. CarryBot's been doing it so far. And then occasionally someone else, like this guy right here. If I can catch him, he's probably kind of struck. Yeah, he's an engineer. Oh, that bot's not going to last much longer. But you see how important he is? So we're going to, be, we're going to want to make some more of those guys when we can. And notice, this machine got, or this plant box got priority over this project. Now that nothing else is going on, and we still don't have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can still put two more in, but I'm going to hesitate because I want to get this in. And I'm going to need bioplastic for it too. Or, geez, I don't remember. Maybe it's just a piece of metal. One, If that's true, then we're, we'll be in good shape because we've got, well, we had one. They just used it. 
So we're down to two bioplastic. We're still getting by. We've got more than half the meals we need. But if we drop below that, remember we've got uh, 10 people, right? I told them 10 people. Oh no, we're up to 16. So that number needs to stay above eight to be safe. And the only way we can increase that is we have to put another one of these in. And that's going to cost us some bioplastic to do it. So we're kind of in a catch-22. Now, these need metal. You want to put in another one? They need metal. It wouldn't do us any good to put another one of these in because we're not making enough bioplastic. So with all things considered, we better do some more starch. All right, we've got one, we've got one, we've got one, we've got one. Now, notice, it's fast production, but it's also high maintenance, but it provides a starch. This one, same deal, fast and high maintenance. This one, it's neither fast, it's not slow, but it does provide some starch. Same thing again, not fast, not low, provides starch. This one is slow production and low maintenance, which is a a fairly good combination, except for the slow production part. So we better go for fast, unless you want to go with this one. But it's high maintenance, see, see the difference? I'm going to go in with the rice. The game seems to think rice is a good way to go. All right, well, we've got the same thing again. How high is your commission? Well, it's a little better than the last time. I do have a little metal to work with. But your commission is going to make it hard for me to come out, because that's 25, and that's only got a value of 10. And like I said, this won't do us any good. And we, we're already making some with that one medical box we put in. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm just going to sell him some ore, even though I'm not going to make all that much from him. But i got to match 10 for 10. That's going to be my first time to sell something straight off for coins. Now the next bioplastic will probably go right there on the rice pad. So now we have two rice pads. We would have been out of room if we had to win with the first size instead of the second size. Yeah, we would have been out of room already. And that's why I don't do first size. If there's any way I can help it, no way. Now I'm not gonna try to put another bunk bed in right now because right it looks like at the present time nobody is getting sleepy but we just ran out of power now how did that happen well the only thing i can tell you is when you go to put another construction thing in and it's at night there's no wind you're going to run this down that's how they make you panic but if you look up here see hour six that means 6 a.m in the morning well now it's seven when the sun comes up, this goes to, be, to work, and it provides a full 50 out of 50, whereas this depends on the wind. So this is not very helpful at all. Now during the day, between these two, they'll get that charge back up. And we have to finish this project before we move on to something else, because of the spare parts situation. See, we've already used up two of them. Now I've played this game quite a bit, or I should say I've played it enough to know that this is usually how they try to kill my uh, game by breaking everything, especially this one and this one. These three objects don't break down very often. It's usually this, these two. So of course I try to put these two as close as I can to the airlock. But I know the next thing they're gonna try to do is they're gonna try to run me out of spare parts. The only other problem I've got is right here. Now I can solve that to some extent because I've got plenty of vegetables to get by for now by installing another one of these mill makers. But that puts another delay here. Now once they get this out there and they satisfy it so it's ready to uh, be constructed, then I'll go ahead and put in another mill maker because that will be a priority. And uh, I just saw the butt go by, so they go. Now we're just waiting on construction. I also want another airlock out here. So they've got two choices, this one and this one, to get out here and make these repairs. 
And since they're going to be making the spare parts in... Oh, wait a minute, that's storage. Oh, dear. That's not the factory. That's storage. Because we're trying to get this stuff out of the sun. Okay, well... Now my concern is, how am I doing for oxygen? There it goes. Now see, they're going to empty this out, and then they're going to put it in. So if I can't buy these, I could get in trouble. If I can't buy these, they will stop repairing my workers. They keep breaking their bones. So they went in and put that in. So now we'll see this improve. Oh, yeah, we'll go ahead. We can't tell them to stay indoors yet because we don't have their control center. So I'll just speed it up. Now, from the looks of things, my next priority, since I've got people running around with a Zima, is another one of these. So the next time they have a bioplastic, and we do have some starch. But let's see. We had five so they could do ten and I don't think we have ten in here yet one two three four five six seven eight oh we do have ten all right so let's see I probably don't have much to trade yet oh as soon as I put that in that uh, storage they come in with stuff so which one is more critical what's your well it's not the lowest 35 is the lowest I'm going to do one of each, I think. And do I have enough? Now this down here is considered to be extra. And I'm missing eight. So I'll have to do at least one. And I'll do a starch. So now I need two coins. Here we go. One, two. There we go. It came out even. That's the best I could do. So now I need to start thinking about better production. Now, better production normally means we put in another one of these and another one of these. But like I said, starch is the weakness here, ore is the weakness here. And later on, they may not need to have all three slots filled, but these take metal in order to get them there. And we just happen to have enough metal. And we've even got one left over. Okay. So now what's our next priority? Do you remember what I w was telling you? Our next priority is going to be the factory. Just in case they don't come in and they let us buy more spare parts. Come on, there it goes. I want to try to keep this as short as possible. So we'll move it over just a little bit. Now we're committed for four and four plus one and one. So we're talking five and five. That's part of the reason why I wanted to put these extra machines in. But we do have a fundamental problem. We've only got six workers. There's four, five, six, and this will take up to three. So technically speaking, and our bot broke again. All right, that would be what, the third time he's been repaired? Well, that's a little better than normal. That is definitely better. But we're developing a problem out here. So what we're going to have to do is give this priority. And we're going to go big. And since that's going to need repairs from time to time, let's put it right there. The sun's out. So we made it to 6 a.m. Well, actually, it's 7 now. And we want to give this a priority. And that way they should stop. Now, if you're starting to panic, you can always recycle. And then they'll come out here and take all the stuff, and they'll put it here. But this only needs metal. So what we could do is come back over here and put in another bunk. Like so. And since we've got five all together, let's try to get one more in there. Oh dear. Just not let me put it in there. Why not? Did we make that too small? I think we did. Yeah, we made it too small. We need the next size up. 
And let's see, we still got... Yeah, we've got good spots. So that would be a good place for it. So let's put it in a bigger one. Now remember, you can make a power connection, but you cannot make a tunnel connection to these. So now we know why that didn't go. All right, are we good? Oh, we need two more metal. Now, if you look out here and you see these little boxes that, that needs to be picked up, that's the ore. And then, of course, they'll take it here. This one has no ore, and this one has no ore. This one has... Okay, it's good to go. This one's pretty much good to go with the starch. I haven't seen any of the workers break down yet, which is kind of surprising, actually. Uh-oh, I spoke too soon. There's one. See that little broken bone symbol? So he'll come over here. He'll get out one of the medical supplies. And we've got five left, which would mean that we've got three and the rest of them are over here in storage. Now we're starting to get some stuff to trade. But we still have a slight metal problem. And we've also got an ore problem. We're not bringing in enough ore. All right, we've got a trade ship, so... And he has no spare parts. And he's got no metal. We've got plenty of starch. Our meals are looking halfway decent. So the only thing that would make sense would be maybe this. Ooh, high commission rate too. Of course, I would prefer to have a constructor bot. Oh, even a driller bot. The driller bot would help with keeping the ore number up. But a drill bot would cost me... Wow. I just don't have the surplus goodies that I can afford to trade. I can't, I don't dare trade those, not at all. This one I've got to hold on to, but that's only five. Yeah, see, there's just no way. I don't have what I need. So we can't do that, but we could do one of these. So we'll left click, cancel that one. I only need 16 now. So there's a, let's see. Well, I could go like so, and then I'll go, uh, I'm gonna go one more this way, and then try to get some coins out of me. There's an even trade, and that's the best I could do right now. Not much of a trade, but it might make a difference. See, we just need the metal. He didn't have any. That was disappointing. Now we do have some extra, and I just bought one. So let's go ahead and get another needle maker. In fact, we can afford to go ahead and put another one in too. That will make a big difference on how many meals we make. Because we've got a pretty good number here. In fact, maybe we should put the other table in. And of course I'll do the big table. And maybe I should go ahead and put another water fountain in. We'll put it right there. Yeah, I don't want to push that any further right now. Because once this gets in, I'm going to need the bioplastic for beds. But I'm kind of disappointed. I messed up here. I made that the small size or the first size rather than the second size. That will get us by for a while and eventually we'll have to try to replace it. The only catch is the game is kind of nasty about not letting you put a bigger one. If you take this one out and recycle it, I probably will not be able to put a bigger one in. All right, they got the bigger one in. That's very large, and this one provides 80 during the daytime. This one is just large and only provides 60. This one is 30 if you're lucky and you got good wind, but as you can see, we're having trouble. Definitely having trouble, and we don't have any extra metal. Because if we do, it would go here. All right, we're not doing too bad on the bioplastic, so let's go ahead and put another bed in. All right, trade ship, have something useful this time. Uh, I don't really need that. I can't utilize this yet. And I don't have enough stuff to get that off of you. So what's your commission rate? 45? Wow, I just don't have much of anything to trade you. That would be suicide. 
Yeah, that would be suicide. I can't use these yet, so that's the best I can do to make it worth your while. There we go, 2020. It's not much of a trade, but we just gotta keep saving up our coins. Once we get the lab in, we'll be holding on to these medical plants. Alright, let's see. I think we could chance bringing in some more personnel now. So we'll click here, then here, and then here. So let's see. I'm going to reduce that. We won't get any workers in, but we should get some biologists. And that is a high priority. Well, no, we shouldn't get an engineering because we've got 18%. We're only requesting 50. And we won't get medical. Well, sometimes the game does its own thing. It kind of ignores what I said every once in a while, and it does its own thing. So how are we doing? Still need two more metal. And there's no ore laid out here to be picked up. All right, we just got some more people in. Wow, three of them, the green patch? That would suggest they're all biologists. Yes, sirree, they were all biologists. So, that was, oh dear, they're doing it to us again, look at that. Of course, it's already almost, there it is, six, so. I think we're going to have to go with more storage this time. And we'll go as big as we can. Uh, Alright, well, I guess that's it. That's going to basically break, break through. And since those don't need repair usually. I kind of wish I could have moved it a little closer. And we'll let them decide what the priority is. Okay, so you're offering five more ore. What's your 50? 50% 50, uh, 50 commission. Can't really afford to spare anything, but I do need more coins. So let's do this. Oh, you're determined. All right, we'll do it this way then. There we go. I am kind of tempted to... Well, starch is fine, but we're having a little trouble here still. So let's slow it down. And let's get back over here. And this time, let's add... Let's see. Yeah, 40. So that's a pretty good separation. So we're telling them we're satisfied. We're going to reduce our request because we've got 42% of the population. Uh, engineers, we've got three. So we'll leave that matched, 15 15. And we'll leave that matched. We've got two. And we're not going to do guards yet. We're going to hold off on that. All right, let's go ahead and speed back up. So we should get some more workers in. From the looks of things, we can definitely use more workers. Okay, now we have a new situation. This is ready to go. So first, before we do any changes, it looks like we might have an oxygen problem coming up. All right, we want to fill this with bunk beds. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key so I can just keep doing this. Now I'm going to come over here and start. And then I'll release the shift key, then I'll click it in with the left mouse button. Well, we're not doing challenges yet, but that is a possibility. I thought you might want to get a nice close-up of what the Starship looks like. The one that does trades. That's just one of the versions. There are other versions. But anyway, there's your first hour of a tutorial done by me to give you a little better information and show and tell on how to get off to a good start. Now, you may, with more experience, decide to do things a little bit different. I do a lot of reacting to uh, emergency situations, so I have to recycle before the project construction starts if I see a, a situation coming up that needs to change. But anyway, I try not to do any more recycling than possible because I don't get some metal back if we're doing utility connections or if we're doing dome connections that I'm not going to get any of the uh, bioplastic back. 
Enjoy. <laughs>